months, many of you haven't gotten a water bill, and that led to major changes. So the mayor, Jack Young, wants to outsource installation and maintenance to improve accuracy and save money. And as WMAR 2 News' Abby Isaacs explains it to us tonight, it all comes at a cost. Abby? Mayor Jack Young says the outsourcing will save $50 million over five years, but it comes at the expense of laying off dozens of city workers. The number and magnitude of the problems we are having are significant enough that we uh, felt and the mayor felt that changes needed to be made. With continued water billing issues in Baltimore City and Baltimore County, Mayor Jack Young has announced the city will outsource meter reading and small meter installation and maintenance to a third party vendor. The mayor and the acting director of the Department of Public Works expects outsourcing will provide more accurate billing and a quicker resolvement of issues. Because these folks are going to get out immediately, they are trained, they are experts on this, and they're going to find the problem. City officials project a savings of $50 million over five years. That's by eliminating positions and laying off 63 city employees who were responsible for meter operations. The money saved will be used to help families in need through the Water Accountability and Equity Act, an act that's been delayed in implementation until the end of the state of emergency. Affordable water does not need to come at the expense of workers' jobs and keeping our water system as public as possible. The president of the City Union of Baltimore said they were blindsided by this decision and questions how this can be better for customers as the city raises water rates by 10% this month. Food and water action also questions the timing. The biggest concern is that, you know, Jack Young is at this point a lame duck mayor. He is going to be out of office in a few months. And this is a really huge decision to be making um, right before he leaves office with absolutely no opportunity for public input. But director Matt Garbark says even with years of employee training, issues have become so significant that the time is now. We've had acknowledgments of training and other things we do on the job shadowing and, and other areas and the issues just have not gone away. Garbark says the Baltimore County Council approved the contract on Monday, but it still needs to be approved by the Baltimore City Board of Estimates. For WMAR 2 News, I'm Abby Isaacs.